Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to back up and restore your drivers on your Windows computer. So if you wanted to reformat your computer as an example and you wanted to have a backup of all of your drivers so you didn't have to go back and manually download all of them from the internet, this tutorial will be for you. So it can definitely be a handy utility and it is completely free. So I just want to jump right into it. I will have a link to this file in the description of the video. I did do a previous take of this video and I realized it was getting kind of long and confusing when I had to go download it. So I just would rather you guys just go on to this website download it. You want to go underneath download options on the left side of the page and select direct download. And then once you've done that you should be left with this compressed file and I've actually taken it from my downloads folder and already put it on my desktop. So again, it's pretty straightforward to get to this point, but I just didn't feel like it was necessary to show all that in this video. It was getting kind of ridiculous, so this is like my third take doing it. So I hope you guys can understand that. I just want to make it as simple as possible. So anyway, we have this zip file right here. We've downloaded it from the website I'm going to have in the description of this video. You want to make sure it looks like this, and when you hover over it, it says zip archive. If you downloaded anything else, it's not the right download. I'm just going to say it right up front. So you want to double click on this folder in order to open it up. should be something that says double driver in here. I'm going to just drag it over and put it on the desktop. And I'm going to close out of my archiving utility. And now there should be a folder that says double driver. And you want to double click to open it up. should be something that says DD in here. D modified, at least at this recording, it says August 1st, 2010. It will work for Windows 10 computers as well. I don't want you thinking it will not. So you want to right click on this application and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control window asking if you want to allow this unknown publisher to make changes to your device, you want to select Yes. And at this point, I'm going to close out of the double driver folder. We will open this back up again later. And just for your purpose, I would also recommend either before or after this tutorial you want to put that double driver folder wherever you're going to be putting our backup and I'll explain a little bit more in a few moments here but for the moment we have the double driver application open it should say double driver home you want to select this backup button right here you want to left click on scan current system right here this will give you a list of all drivers that are currently installed on our computer. This list is pulled basically directly from the Windows Device Manager. And if you wanted to select all of the drivers right in one click, or a couple clicks, all you have to do is go up to the Select button up here, click on this little drop down arrow, select all, and it'll select all of the drivers. And then once you've done that, left click on this Backup Now button, and now for the default output folder for this tutorial I'm going to save it to the desktop by clicking this little box right next to the output path and I'm going to just select desktop here and click on OK like I said this is probably not going to be the permanent home for it but I just want you guys to be aware of and visualize what we're doing in this tutorial so for the output type I'm going to select structured folder I don't believe it's necessary to compress the file or the folder I should say or create a single file extract you're better off just keeping it as a structured folder and then once you have ensured that and the destination is somewhere you're going to be able to remember where you left it we're going to select OK and this will take a moment it probably will take under a minute in most cases so you just want to be patient and it should say the operation completed successfully click on OK and now at this point you can close out of the software and for all intents and purposes we have backed up our drivers so there's a few different folders on our desktop and I want to just quickly go through what each of them are the first one is the zip file we initially downloaded from the internet the second one is this folder that has our double driver portable application installed on it and the last one is going to be our backup of our driver software and it should have a date and time stamp as well. 
I'd recommend that you back all three of these up to an external drive for a USB, CD, DVD, or whatnot, and just have it there as a backup. And now let's say at one point in time you want to restore back your driver software. All you have to do is go underneath this double driver folder, not the compressed folder, which I mean has everything in it you're going to need pretty much for the software, but the double driver folder. And I'm going to double click to open it up. Now this DD again, this application, you want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. Again, if you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. Again, I'm going to close out of the double driver folder. And now I'm going to select the restore button right here. And then I'm going to go to the bottom left corner where it says locate backup and I'm going to left click on it once. And now I'm going to select other location all the way at the bottom. There should be three dots within a little box here. You want to left click on it to locate this folder. And now you can see that it is already on our desktop. So I went underneath desktop. Like I said, this date and timestamp. You can rename this folder whatever you want if you want to make it a little bit simpler for you. This is just the default output name that they are assigning this backup. I'm going to select the whole folder. And then I'm going to click on OK. And then I'm going to select OK again. And you can pick and choose which drivers you want to back up, or you can select all of them by again going up to the select button and clicking the little drop down arrow next to it. Select all, and then left click on restore now. It's going to say this will restore the selected backup drivers. You want to click on OK. It should not take very long. It's going to say welcome to device driver installation wizard. Select next and it might take some time to complete so just be patient shouldn't take very long just like the first time when we actually backed up the drivers and it should say completing the device driver installation wizard and if we look at this list here we can see that they all should be ready to use and then you just click on finish click on restore now this will restore the selected backup drivers. Click on OK. Oh, actually, it appears we already did it, so we're actually good to go, guys. We didn't have to do that again. I just started backing them up again, but you guys get the idea. I'd recommend closing out of the software, restarting your computer after you restored your drivers, and you should be good to go. So again, this is a pretty straightforward tutorial. I hope I was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.